I've come to a local taco shop where the owner has promised he'll have everything I need to find out. If I can impress you in 60 seconds, I want free tacos for the rest of my stupid little life. Whoa, for life? Yeah, absolutely. How about for today? Free tacos today if I can impress you in 60 seconds. You got a deal. Right, you got to help me out there. I need some things, right? I need, okay. uh, I need a glass container. Uh, I okay. need uh, a glove. I need a blowtorch or something you light okay. your ovens with or okay. something like that. Go, go, go. 60 okay, seconds. Okay, okay. Uh, here, I've got tacos. that for right. you. That's fine. Um, yes, that's good. I got a torch. Okay, right. Will that work? Yes, that's perfect. I got gloves for safety. Okay, good. And I need some water. Oh, that's my water. Okay, good. Right. Ice water, okay? Yes. I need some goggles. Where are my goggles? Where are my goggles? I need some goggles. I got shades. <laughs> OK, I'll do it with shades, then. Now, regular heat-proof right. kitchen glassware like this can be filled with all kinds of ingredients and safely heated in the oven to 500 degrees. My question to you, Randy, is if I take one teeny-weeny little bead of water from your straw and just flick it to the bottom of the jug, what's going to happen? Uh, nothing. Well, so far, I'm heating the measuring cup to over 400 degrees and nothing is happening. But what will be the effect of adding just one measly bead of water? Will the water do nothing, crack the measuring cup, shatter the measuring cup, or will it do none of the above? 